What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. Since last time, I fought a single random battle, and I did a little bit of screwing around with my party. Uh, I taught Ramzo the uh, speed break that I wanted, but he's actually doing really well as a knight now that he's got some knight swords, so I'm just going to keep him with a knight as a knight for a while. They have pretty good attack power uh, growth, and that's mostly what I'm looking for for Ramza. Tim, uh, I was going to teach him Vertical Jump 7, but I'm just going to save up for Vertical Jump 8. And if I didn't mention, um, the way these uh, jump abilities work is that one of them uh, kind of includes the use of all the previous ones, so all you really need is the highest level of each one. So that's why I've been doing that. Jessica, I turned into a dancer, which is a very unique class. I'll kind of explain how it works th throughout the fight. But basically, I set her up to have attack up, and her equipment has all been focused on increasing her attack power. Uh, and I bought her a pea bag, which gives her uh, regen at all times, since she's no longer using the chantage. Uh, if there was a bag, or I think dancers can also equip daggers. Um, if there's one of those that increased her physical attack or something, I would do that, but I don't think there is. I uh, don't believe I've done anything with Brett. Um, still saving up for the 3 ability. And once again, I'll explain exactly how calculators work when the time comes. And Liza, uh, she's a summoner. I, I don't really think I'm going to use much of her uh, by way of a summoner. But there are a few characters who still need some summoner levels, so I'm just going to keep her as a summoner for out of the time being. And with that, let us continue on to Poeska Lake. Now, Poeska Lake is actually fairly similar to uh, the Yugo Woods in that they are full of a whole bunch of undead enemies. Although these enemies are... this fight's probably a little bit harder just because it's, you know, further in the game. And uh, also like Yugo Woods, this is actually kind of considered as uh, like a random battle. So unlike story scripted battles, uh, your the enemy's levels aren't uh, at a fixed level. So there's a good chance that they're probably going to be higher than the random enemies you fight in uh, scripted battles. Uh, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but whatever. Actually, one good thing about these uh, undead enemies is Ramza is using the Excalibur, which is wholly elemental, so he should just rip through them like nothing. Even more so than usual. At least I thought it was wholly elemental. I know it strengthens holy attacks, it might not be wholly elemental itself. Perhaps I was mistaken in that regard. I really don't care about taking 66 damage with Ramza. As a knight, he has an exceptionally high level of HP, because he's wearing lots of armor. Lots of fast enemies, it would seem. Maybe these guys aren't considered uh, random enemies. Maybe they are scripted, because 37 seems a little bit lower than they should be. I think Rams is level 45. So, can I... Well, I, I can probably jump on... Mr. Ghosty here. That'll do the trick for him. Uh, let's sit here and summon Moogle for Ramza and her... Oh, I should have hasted my calculator. Derp. Now, the dancer, what they do is they dance. So I'm going to use Wisnabis. And that's kind of similar to um, 
casting a spell and that it's like a delayed thing that uh, you can see like on the AT list but uh, it's something that happens like uh, consistently throughout the entire fight so like if we look at the AT list or at least until you stop dancing it says uh, Wisnabus multiple times um, and basically what that uh, the way dance abilities work is uh, it's an ability that you continually do basically until you tell the dancer to stop dancing and it uh, affects every enemy on the map and in the case of Wisnabus it does damage there are of course other dances as we can see it's witch hunt, slow dance, poka poka, disillusion, nameless dance, and last dance they all have different effects Wisnabus does uh, straight up damage. And um, the reason I gave her so much uh, stuff to boost her physical attack, like the uh, twist headband, power sleeve, and the uh, bracer, is because I think it's the same for every dance. Um, well, not every dance, since, but uh, stuff like Wisnabus. Uh, its damage is partially determined by your physical attack and it's partially determined by your brave so raising you can't equip anything to raise your physical attack so might as well or uh, you can't equip anything that raises your brave so you might as well equip as much as you can that raises your physical attack and obviously as you, you've probably noted it's only doing 29 damage which isn't very high but it, it goes off pretty consistently and um, it's a guaranteed hit I don't think there's actually anything that can protect you from it uh, it hits every enemy no ma and uh, on the map no matter where you're standing so it's it's not a lot of damage but it can be handy especially on big maps to like wear your enemies down so that even if it doesn't kill them uh, your opponents are weak enough to be killed easier when you actually reach them. I don't think I can actually like jump up there and I don't mean jump as in like this kind of jump, the action ability. I mean jump as in like the movement. Let's see about jumping on that archer and I probably should have checked the AT list to see if you actually land. Now, as to uh, how often Wisnabus goes off, I, uh, I don't think it's actually determined by your speed at all. I think uh, it has a set speed per dance, uh, and it just goes off at that rate. So I don't think you can do anything to increase how often dance the dance action is actually performed. Uh, I was thinking originally that I might try and uh, boost her speed rather than her attack to try and get dances more often um, since it's kind of a trade-off between frequency and uh, power of each hit but at least if you're go attacking more often even if it's for less then you're gaining JP and experience more often uh, and that's why originally uh, I was saying I guess probably last episode I was thinking of buying the one bag, I think it's the H bag, that uh, increases your speed. Uh, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure actually that speed doesn't... Why did that not hit him? Whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure that speed has no effect on how frequently uh, dance goes off. There's, uh, now, Dancer is actually a, a female-only class. Um, males have a kind of same but opposite class entitled Bard. And they, they work on pretty much the same principle, but rather than like harming your, ally, or your enemies, you're, like, uh, it does positive stuff to your allies, whether it be like healing or restoring HP or whatever. 
So it's basically the the complete straight up opposite of um, the dancer. I I, I think they share uh, splash over job points as well, which is part of the reason why I am using the dancer right now, because there there's uh, some bard abilities that are very good, or at least a bard ability that's very good that I want. It's partly just because I think Dancer is a kind of neat class. It's not super good. I mean, obviously the damage is really kind of terrible. But like I said, there are some advantages to it, and I think it's... I just think it's neat. It's nice to kind of use it now and then just to mix things up, just to mess around a little bit. I probably wouldn't use it in some of the harder battles out there. At least not some of the harder uh, scripted battles. Um, that's an odd thing to say. But anyways, that was a pretty easy fight. Oh, what's going on now? More evil Dice of Dark. Who's, who's Rawful? Rawful Copter! So Dice Darg is uh, cooperating with the Shrine Knights. Or I guess he's not cooperating. Sometimes similar to a cold, huh? I think this is supposed to be, uh, yeah, it's more I implications that uh, Dice of Dark killed uh, Balbanis. I guess they say it a little bit more, um, they're a little bit more upfront with it than I thought in this version of the game. Something, huh? Why would they give Dice of Dark a holy stone? Why would he trust Dice of Dark? He's not... He just said he wasn't cooperating. I guess Zalbag heard the whole thing, so now he's, uh... privy to the details. Will he be disgusted by his brother's... scheming? I guess we'll have to find out. Probably not next time, but eventually on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. Catch you later.